Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. Our main focus in today's episode is going to be building up this lovely farm area. We've got quite some big plans for the areas next to Scrap City but in order to proceed we are gonna have to build up this farming district. It is quite a fun little project so let's get started right away. And here we go, so we are fully ready to start building up this area. In the previous one, as you can see, this uh, transport network seems to be working. I've had to remove one of those trains because I think we had a bit of a traffic jam right about here. So uh, they don't have the storage right now, but I think that's fine. So, all right, we're going to give a little bit of access. The beavers that we have over here, well, there's only, what is it? We have about four construction beavers, so that is definitely going to take a little bit longer if we continue constructing with them. Now, before we send bots in here, there's going to be loads of them that run out of energy, and that's going to delay the whole progress of ours. So what I am thinking is, let's have a look. I would like to bring through those power lines. Okay, uh, maybe not through here, actually. Yeah, maybe we'll leave a bit of space in here in case um, we change up this area a little bit later. So there we go. Let's um, pull those cables through. I'm thinking we should be fine if we just do it. Oh, that's a little bit, a little bit wonky over here, right? Not to worry though. Let's grab one of these junctions here and right. So over here, if we go straight through, we could send it into this district here as well. I mean through the over the mountain tops from here and then we can still cross through here as well in case we need a bit of power over there but for the time being let's just try and i think here is probably fine and um no biggie we can always change this up a little bit as well now access is going to be a bit of an issue so we are going to give you a just a staircase over here and then let's just finalize you as well. You're going to climb up from here. And if we can, here we go. Turn you this way. A couple of trees are going to have to go, unfortunately, as well, since you are in our way. Then we should probably do the same over here because this might be a little bit more direct route than this one here. Oh, definitely am. Yeah. And not to worry, in the future, we can probably put some of the some of the trees back again but here we go a couple of cables just like so might want to pause this one for the time being just to ensure that they have the access that they need now oh we might have to delete a couple of trees from here as well i'm not sure if they are going to be able to go all the way here maybe maybe not i guess we we shall see you guys can connect up from here and another road. Okay. I think we have uh, enough bot power here. Uh, just in case, we are going to give you a slightly higher priority as well. So there we go. And then with the rest of you, I believe we should be able to construct it in no time. There we go. A bit of more access in here as well. And then you've already pretty much planted everything. Oh yeah, here we go. Is one of those spots that is a little bit sleepy. Then um, I have paused the deep water pump as well. And we might even do the same with the farmhouse. Because it, it seems we might be wasting quite a bit of time. I mean, plants probably not. But other things to sort of like produce in here. It might be a waste of time because it's just way quicker. Having the drain bring in the resources or we get the pots bring in the stuff that we need as well. What we might also do, it wasn't really in the plans. However, bad water discharge. If we can close you up, I reckon it might not hurt us. I mean, this doesn't really benefit us, to be honest. It's not like we're producing any power or we're harvesting this area. So maybe we just lock you up for the time being. And then over here as well, we might do like little platforms. Oh, drought is approaching. Well, no worries. And then we can put a couple of flat gates here as well. And yeah, let's just do platforms. It's gonna be a little bit boring this time. So as we are bringing in the power, I think. Okay, yeah, you can. What's happening over here? Is there something? 
Oh, yes, there is already one of those trees. Okay, not to worry. You can go through here and then we should be safe. Next thing we will want to do, I've already planned in a few of those irrigation barriers. And for that, we are going to need some treated planks and logs as well. So, um, <laughs> yeah, power, you guys are going to have to go up. Yeah, before we send the pots over, let's not forget to... Oh, hold on a second. So you might as well just have these platforms run all the way here, isn't it? Yep, might be a little bit easier. And then you guys go here and... I mean, I suppose the, the stations... Ah, uh, never mind. Nope, we are going to do them here. And where is it again? Science. We got the charging station. So for the time being, I'm just going to place them on the opposite side. Just in case we might want to send the power somewhere else as well. They are going to want to run through here as well. Well, that's okay. We can pause you for the, for the time being. And a corner one. Here we go. Now you guys are already running through. That's fantastic. And the last of the links as well. Everything else is done here. That is very lovely. And then we just need, actually we should probably pause you as well, just a corner bit and all right, lovely. Now this one is going to take quite a bit of resources, however, here's we got, oh wow, okay, 1.2 thousand. Metal seems to be plentiful as well. I guess grease is the one we should maybe try and improve a little bit. Explosives 23. Okay, so that's very low. And why is that so? Well, we do have some spare bots right now. And it... Mm, yeah. I think it would be beneficial. That would have been a lovely spot in here, but... That's fine. Alright, gear factory. Not gear factory. Explosive factory. You can go right in here. And then we'll... Uh, just... Pass the power, I guess, through here as well. Alright, let's take you out real quick. And a T-junction will go right over here. Okay, we've lost a few resources. Just one log, but that's okay. Right, so why don't we look at a couple of other things we did in the previous episode as well. One of them... Oh yeah, we're trying to fix this one up here. Let's just detonate everything. We can use a couple more... I don't think they need a high priority, but okay, here we go. So that's lovely. That should help us with the with the bad tide in the future. And with this bit here as well, we can just close it up. That side is done. Rest of it is done as well. I just have to transfer the settings onto the uh, triple floodgates, and then I can get rid of the smaller ones. And then same over here. We've got, let's see, double if we delete you in here all right there we go that's the that's the height we'd like to have in here and all we've got left to do okay not those ones let's grab a road oh dear this is a little bit difficult here we go and connect it up now okay lovely then the next step is uh, probably to deepen this area here a little bit further change around Yep, all of those floodgates, platforms in here, and probably we would like to have a, a stream cage here as well, just to detect if there's any bad water in here, and then just keep those gates open until the bad water concentration has dropped to like 1%. That's when we can open the side floodgates. But okay, we shall leave the beavers to construct everything there. Now, in terms of power... I think we're okay we've not seen it drop at all and quick check on the batteries as well seems like we are still maxed out so so yeah that's pretty lovely all right so it's pretty sad to see those beavers uh, sleeping on the floor during night time why don't we give them a bit of temporary uh, housing estates as well now i know on the bottom floors we are just gonna have farms in here so it probably doesn't hurt to build let's see five eight Actually, if we have 10 beavers here, we just need two of the two of these ones. That should be enough. Okay, you've harvested pretty much everything here as well. Why don't we pause the lumberjack flag for the time being? And that way you can hopefully be a little bit useful, more useful elsewhere. And when we say more useful, we actually want to have some more 
build the huts over here. We should have a few spare be beavers, don't we? Yep, we've got two over there. And uh, the first step, what we are starting to construct over here, is going to be a bit of a water tank to help us green up this whole area. Okay, a couple of roads here as well, just to assist you guys a little bit. And then what we can also do, let's just make sure we get some roads through the district center as well. Now, the location of this, I don't think it is exactly where we want it to be. Because it's a little bit too close to the edge of the map. It's uh, it's still green. Okay, let me just put this road back in here as well. And um, yeah, it's still green over here. So it might be a little bit more useful if it was to be like somewhere on the side of the mountain over here. Maybe. Okay. Let's, um, but yeah, we, we don't have to worry about it just now. We can just keep it where it is currently. And then uh, let's just have all of you constructed as well. I'd like this to be a slightly bit higher priority. There we go. Last of the links is there. They're still bringing in resources. Oh yeah, we're going to need a few more explosives as well. There's only two in our, across the whole colony. So what I have done... Uh, we've already placed this explosive factor over here and I've given them a higher priority to construct another one here just across the road as well. We had a little blank factory here but I don't think we really need them right now. So there we go, a couple of bots are now working in here and uh, I think that should be enough. Now the next thing is do we have enough bad water? Oh yes we do, so that's all lovely as well. Okay, let's uh, leave you guys for a little bit. Now, is the power... It is still not connected. Okay, almost done. We've got a bot over there that's taking care of it. Then uh, you guys as well. Okay, this area could actually be pretty, pretty interesting. I mean, a bit of power production here perhaps, if we really need, need it. And then the rest of the river here could be interesting as well. Okay, I mean, another option that we have in here, if we know that we're not going to use those bad water sources, we could just block them in and not use them. But for now, let's just keep the river flowing and yeah, the irrigation barriers are the way to go. Okay, you guys have decided to access it from the bottom, which is a little bit odd. I would have thought this is a a little bit quicker way to approach this, but okay, that's fine. Actually, you might want to do your houses first. All right, there we go. And hmm, this is working, which is great. However, all those beavers going through this area. How about we place a couple of options for you guys? Take this one out, and they are gonna complain, but that is fine. Last of priorities, and all we have to do is connect you up like so as well. I do want one of them to be done first. So we can't connect them up all the way in here, because they are different districts. But that's alright, we just have to bring those roads as close as we can. And then hopefully they can help us build this area up a little bit as well okay so these ones are gonna go there what we might even do if they don't need to climb down we could bring this road through oh yeah that might help okay lovely now the next thing we don't really know how far the range is gonna be so this might be the first thing we might want to test and figure out. So I am pretty happy that we constructed all the charging stations on this side. As you can see, they are getting a bit of usage and same in here as well. These ones are actually pretty popular. Yep, there's one pot that needs some power and yeah, one, two, three, four, five over here as well. I mean, they've been pretty good. It's, uh, it's been like a day or so. And they've pretty much constructed everything around here, so we should be quite safe. And as you can see, we have also completed this lovely little tank in here. Now, the range of this seems to be pretty good. I think it should be uh, should be able to increase this a little bit further. Yeah, there's just two of them working here, but do we have enough water? Okay, so you're also carrying water as well. Well, that's fine. Uh, right, 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 we have one spare beaver. It would be useful to have some haulers in here. So maybe that's what we'll do as well. And we could even increase the population very soon as well. I'm thinking 
Uh, let's see, what is flooded? How is it flooded? We're in a drought season right now. Oh. Hold on a second. Uh, that should not... Hmm. That is very odd. Okay, let's have a look here. So when the drought starts... Oh, okay. Yep, you guys should not be... Height of 2. 1.5 should be enough. So that means we've lost... Oh yeah, okay, so that's not good in here. And it's also started to spill over as well. Uh, what a nightmare. Okay, for the time being, let's have a look. We are going to drop you all the way as much as we can. Let's fix you up, so maybe not 1.5. Let's keep you at 1 in the future. And we are going to let you, oh, same over here as well. Okay, 0 0.5, how about that? But for the time being, just all the way down. Uh, well, at least we do have the bad water bumps over here, so that's going to help us out a little bit. Most things should be able to survive, I think. And we're just going to give you a little bit of time. Do we have... Okay, let's close you up for a little bit as well. Nightmare. And you've also started to flow backwards. Well, I'm glad we have those double floodgates in here. Because otherwise, we'd probably lose a lot more than... Just a couple of trees in here. Now our water storage is, should be should be okay as well, so that's great. And let's have a look. What else? Everything else seems to be fine in here. And they've finished the floodgates as well, which is great. That's all locked up. You guys are fine as well. Okay, lovely. Now, next, you are no longer needed here. I think we are starting to require some more bots and I feel like we've been a little bit wasteful with um, just dropping buildings all over the place and leaving them like this one over here it's not like we really need you in here uh, so maybe we can just take you away and this one we are gonna keep you around because these guys are still harvesting the trees around here now maybe two of you might be a bit of an overkill yeah there's definitely too many flags in here let's just pause you guys for a little bit you still have a bit of a range over here and same goes with this one as well okay yeah couple of spare bots now so that's fantastic beaver is unwell how and why oh wait a second so that's our main colony and that's most likely because of the situation that we had over here but also if all this is spreading in here and you are gathering stuff, so I think we are cancelling the operations here as well. Right, so the next thing we do want to start doing in this area is to expand the green zone. I've sort of measured out that from the edge of the, the levees, it's about 11 tiles till we get somewhere around here. And that's probably the distance we want to have between these sections here as well. So if I'm not mistaken, that was, let's have a look, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I think somewhere here we are absolutely okay. So let's do another 11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Yep, that seems to be the the right length that we have. Now, with uh, once this one's going to be built, that means this whole area is going to be green in here. The only bit that isn't going to be green is this zone here. And for that, hmm... Well, this one's going to green up this area, and maybe, okay, a little bit trickier in here, because we don't want to use the natural tiles, we definitely want to be using the levees. Okay, let's pull you back just a little bit, and then, okay, fine, I think we can just build you right about here, isn't it? Now, we might want to green up. Hmm, yeah. Okay, let, let's see how it goes. We're going to do one, two, three. And that should be should be enough, isn't it? That's pretty much how we want to, want to do it here. It's a little bit higher and hopefully uh, should have slightly better range than the ones, than the one we built over here. This one is if we manage to bring the water up. Is only one tile higher. But actually seems like it's got pretty decent range as well. You have now 
Oh wow, that's all gone back in there. That's uh, that is terrible. Okay, you are closed up, so that's good. Now we've opened you up again. Resume the the flow for the time being, and the rest of you should be fine, right? Yep. Let's just leave you leave you for the time being, and um, let's check on the progress over here again. I don't suppose you've constructed a lot since we. Oh, actually, never mind. These guys are pretty crazy fast. They've already done all those levies here. Let's have a look. We've got a few bots that are out of energy. Two of them are here. And yeah, as we said, these guys are getting a lot of usage of those charging stations. So that was pretty good. Now, I don't think I mentioned, but I've changed a few things around here as well. I've... Um... Oh, you guys are paused now. I've actually linked it up with our Scrap City and made sure that we have the bots working here. So hopefully, well, it, it did allow us to construct this and uh, not construct this, but have this tank full of water a little bit quicker. I mean, this tank over here helped us a little bit as well, so we don't have to run too far. Uh, uh oh, now that is a disaster waiting to happen. I don't think there's much we can do, to be honest. Okay, everything is super high priority. A few in here. Where are you going? Yep, let's just watch what's going to happen in here. I'm going to speed up the time just a tiny bit as well. Oh, I think we might be in luck. Somehow they managed to construct the uh, the most important levy and things are A-OK -okay now. All right, now next thing. We are doing some terrain blocks and I'll be honest, this plateau over here, I think it feels a little bit boring unless we fill it with like crops and things yeah it's a little bit too empty i feel okay next one access <laughs> let's build you like so all right hopefully no one's gonna run to the other side and get stuck over here but uh yeah let, let's fill it up a little bit and then the next step we are gonna have a couple more water dumps in here I think that should be fine and then roads connect you up and oh yeah the uh, water height or the water gauge as well you're gonna go here and as soon as you are constructed we shall oh high priorities for these guys let's just get this done real quick and uh, yeah we'll fill this tank and we'll be back as soon as this one and this one is complete. All right, so we have allowed them to build for quite some time already. We've got all three tanks ready. And as you can see, this area is looking very lovely and green. Now, the next thing we'd like to do, the, um, I did add some uh, charging stations here as well, because I thought like, okay, maybe we can speed up things if we uh, transfer a couple of bots over. So let's just make sure that we have a bit of power for them as well. But I haven't actually sent any bots over just yet because um, I was trying to also fix the uh, population crisis in our main district. There's about 24 jobs that are not filled and then uh, yeah, basically I was going around this whole colony having a look. Maybe we can uh, die or cut down a few jobs here and there, but I ended up building a couple more breeding boards right over here. So there's four extra ones. And hopefully it's gonna fix the the problems that we have in here but okay let's just jump back into into here and all right so we've got this lovely blank canvas for ourselves i thought why don't we start with a bit of decoration so i was putting down a few trees until i realized that oh hold on a second maybe we should do it kind of like together so uh so yeah i'm just gonna place a couple of pines i think i'd like to fill this gap here as much as we can here in the front as well just to hide the um yeah the, the the sort of background in here doesn't look like it's the best now um it seems this used to be a pine forest here anyways so it kind of makes sense to yeah if we make quite a got a few of them here later we could even climb up from there as well and and get rid of the old ones replace them with some newer ones but uh, for now i think we're fine now i've added some explosives on our train route as well 
Yes, and that's what the beavers are doing currently, it seems. What I was also thinking, I didn't actually do it, but I, I was thinking that it might be cool to kind of like extend this river or the lake in here and allow it to cut through this area, maybe even join with this river. But that means we would have to build a bit of a hood or a hat on this thing here and close it up. But it would be cool, yeah, to let the sort of nice clean looking water flow through this river. But I've, I've not done this just yet. I guess we'll see. I kind of first want to see how this area is going to develop. So, all right, there we go. First of all, we need to make sure that everything gets planted over here. That one has a pretty decent range. We'll do another one right like so. I think we had even a couple of trees at the top level here as well. Now, where is a better location? This seems to be a little bit more... Oh yeah, maybe even here. You've got pretty good reach here as well. Although... Yep, it's not covering everything at the top, so... I might do one over there, actually. Alright, here we go. So, how about we do a ton of cassavas? Okay, then we have this road. Yeah, you guys might might push through there later hold on a second we might need to climb down so let's just leave you like so i don't want to fill the mountain top just yet because i have a feeling we might do another station over here because even with this one as well things might change i'm thinking maybe it should cut through this mountain instead and then have like parallel stations here because eventually I think what's going to happen is if we look towards our horizon that's where we are going to have the tree farm and processing plants as well so if this is the farms maybe we process it here but then we still need the trains to run to the main colony and to scrap city and maybe beaver city as well uh not the beaver city beaver venice I mean anyways okay so um trees are going in that is lovely. Do we have any spare beavers? Oh, yes, we do. So this one's being fine. This one's fine as well. Uh, next one. Let's have a look at those plants. It's is, uh, it is a little bit dark right now, but I think it is okay. Hopefully. Now, is this going to be enough cassavas? I don't know. But we're going to do a few more here, just in case. Now, the range here is pretty good. They cross over nicely. Eggplants, corn, canola, soybean. Uh, right, right, right. Canola is going to be very important. What else? I'm also thinking maybe some of those plants, it might be nicer if we grow it in here. For example, canola. This could be something we could, yeah, maybe grow and hide it in here. Let's just place a ton of, let's see, up to here. So soybeans shall fill this area. Yeah, probably don't need those roads in here now, do we? No. Okay, couple more. And that should be a lovely field for us. Let's just do it right next to it. Okay, next one. So canola was something we were talking about. So for the time being, we don't need the beavers or the pots from the other district to run over here anymore. So what we can do, let's just cut the link for a little bit and rejoin you oh we can't rejoin you i think we know why all right there you go we'll have a different beaver jump in here instead and then uh, okay lovely let's uh, continue with the canola real quick yep we'll just fill this whole area and then we can do the same in here i guess it's gonna make this mountain top a little bit more Kind of like alive. A few more here as well. And then we shall also have a couple more decorations. We could put a, put a few trees in here. Blueberries and... And yeah, maybe another couple of trees just like so. And there we go. So the beavers and bots are pretty busy. Well, they have been pretty busy planting everything in here. It is going to be a mixture of trees, decorations and of course the main... And the most important part is the food itself, so uh, just a little bit left in here actually. We've put the uh, coffee bushes in here as well, so we, I think eventually, yeah, they're uh, mostly going to be planted and harvested in here. I don't think we need a massive field, of course, 
but there is still a little bit of room and space for us to expand in here which is very very lovely now another thing i'd like to do is just fill those lo lower levels for the time being as well i just want to see them a little bit busier and fill this stuff obviously okay so i think that is looking pretty lovely for for the time being might need a another beaver to help us out so why don't you jump over here into the forest here and uh, we'll get some of those pines done as well then uh, hopefully this farm should be almost complete now you over here you should be almost done as well so hopefully we can oh no actually we can't pause you just yet there is a few more things to plant over there but um, other than that i think we have done a pretty pretty decent job over here i mean it was very empty before it's all greened up now and we got a ton of different plants growing here as well so yeah definitely can be quite happy and i think that is also the time when we are going to end the episode so once again thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you very soon